Hello, this is Jonathan Johnson here today working with you with uh, Windows Server 2008 again. Today we're going to be doing a video on creating a custom MMC. The last one was using a pre-built MMC, so uh, open up our VMware. We're already into, logged into the server as an administrator. So we're going to explore the features of a disk management snap... Whoops, wrong thing. Create your own custom MMC by selecting snap-ins. Description is your junior administrator for a Windows server, and three of your most common tasks are monitoring installed devices, managing and monitoring the server's disks, and checking on scheduled tasks. You have decided that putting tools for these tasks in their own MMC on your desktop would make you more efficient. Okay, so we're going to click start right here. We're going to click run. All right, we got run. We're going to type MMC. All right, now we typed MMC. I'm going to click OK. Alright, now it pulls up console 1. We're going to click File and Add Remove Snap-In. File, and click the Add Remove Snap-In drop-down. And then we're going to go and click on, uh, in the Available Snap-Ins list box, we're going to click Device Manager. So we got to click Device Manager. For Monitoring Installed Devices, then click Add. Alright, now we clicked Add to Add Device Manager. Note your choices in the dialog box. You can decide whether to use a selected snap-in on a local computer or another computer. If you select the, select the the another computer option, you can manage that computer remotely with your MMC. So leave the local computer option selected and click finish. We're going to leave it local computer selected and click finish. All right. We're going to repeat steps four and five, substituting the disk management and task scheduler snap-ins for device manager. Okay, so we're going to go in here, we're going to click on disk management now, click disk management, click add, keep it to this computer, and click finish. All right, now we, we added the disk management, now we're going to do the same thing with task scheduler. We got to find task scheduler. It's going to be down here somewhere. There it is. Click task scheduler. Add. Leave it at local computer. Okay. Now notice right here, selected snap-ins. We got device manager on a local computer, disk management on a local computer, and task scheduler on local computer already set for the selected snap-ins to be added. Um, when you add disk management, click this computer instead of local. So we did that wrong. Disk management. We're going to remove that. And we're going to go and we're going to add disk management back in. Disk management, add. Disk management, yeah. Okay, this computer, finish. There we go. Now it's on this computer only. Um, Now that we're finished adding these snap-ins, we're going to click OK. Now all of our snap-ins are added in there. So to name your MMC, click File, Save As from the menu. So we're going to go File, Save As, and we're going to name it. We're just going to, we're going to name it, let's see here. 1-4 creating a custom MMC. We're going to name it that so we can remember. All right, save. Now we named it 1-4 creating a custom MMC. So this is our custom MMC we've created here. Now, in the save as dialog box, click the desktop icon and type dev disk task for the file name and then click save. You now have customized MMC on your desktop. So we can go back and we can redo that. We can just go save as. We're going to rename it. We're going to go click the icon. So right here you can click desktop and it's going to save it to our desktop. And we're going to go dev dev disk and then task. Whoops. For uh, device manager, disk management, and task scheduler. And we're going to click save. 
All right. Now it's saved to our desktop right here. There it is. We can open that up at any time. So we're going to close these. I'm going to open this right here to see what happens. Double click it. There's our, our very own MMC on our desktop if we ever needed any help. We just pull that up to go back to our own custom desktop. And that's all I have for you today on this uh, activity of creating a custom MMC. Hope you learned how to create a custom MMC and save it to your desktop. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.